happy birthday to legendary rapper, singer, songwriter, and Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Missy Misdemeanor Elliott. It's your boy X-Men 1991 coming to you back again with another video. I hope you guys had an incredible weekend as much as I did. First, let me get a quick recap of how the Astros did against the Mets. The Astros lost to the Mets this past Friday. 7-2 Then they beat them on Saturday 9-6 Yesterday 10-5 And they just beat the Blue Jays today 3-1 So the Astros are now 43-41 and 41 As the Blue Jays dropped to 38-46 and 46. And the Astros are now The number 2 seed in the American League West The Braves They beat the Pirates on Friday 6-1 and Saturday 2-1, but they lost them yesterday 4-2. Tomorrow, the Braves are taking on the Giants at the crib. And the Braves are the number two seed in the National League East. So that's good. The Astros and the Braves are both the number two seed in the American League West and the National League East. So that's good. So I'm here to talk about two things. I'm here to give my thoughts about Eminem's new song, Houdini, and my thoughts about this YouTuber named Just Gooby because somebody requested me to do a rant about Just Gooby. So before we get into Just Gooby, let me say this right now. To the diehard Eminem fans, you can turn this video off right now. If you're going to get offended, you can dislike the video. You can call me a bitch ass nigga. You can make fun of me. I don't care. This is just my opinion on how I feel about what I'm going to talk about. Just accept my opinion like a man or a woman and just move on. So recently Eminem came out with a brand new song called Houdini. It was nothing new. It was basically a remake of what he did back in 2002. I listened to the song yesterday when I was on my break at work and I got to say in all honesty, just like The Rock said about Tyrese album Black Rose, that Eminem Houdini song was the biggest piece of dog shit that I've ever listened to. And I know y'all laughing, by the way, because it's true. Everybody's heard it, too. Everybody heard about that new song by Eminem, right? And it was the biggest piece of dog shit that I've ever listened to. You should hear how he did the hook. Abra, Abra, Kadabra. I'm about to reach in my bed, bruh. Huh? I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? This made me want to grab a pill because I'm about to go to sleep. Like I said on Rumble a few months ago, this dude is not even trying anymore to put out a good song, even though all his songs back then were corny and cheesy any damn way. And why would you want to name a song named after the legendary magician Houdini? I kind of find that insulting to name a song after the legendary magician Houdini. And of course you got these dick riders like No Life Shaq and Stevie Knight hopping out their chairs, squirting in their pants because he's Marshall Mathers and he's the rap god, he could do no wrong, right? This song was worse than that whack ass verse he did on that song by Nas, EPMD2. I don't even have to explain anymore about Eminem, how overrated, corny, and cheesy he is. Because I've already did a live stream earlier this year about how overrated Eminem, Lil Wayne, and Jay-Z are. And he has the worst fan base ever, just like Lil Wayne does. And Jay-Z. This is just ridiculous. Corny as hell. Corny as shit that I've ever heard in my life. We all know Eminem has not been the same since forever. We all know he fell off for the past 20 years since that Encore album. 51 years old, going on 52, and he's washed up. It's like he can't make a song that could be catchy, that could be memorable. Like, what the hell has happened to this guy? I'm so glad I did not celebrate 25 years of the Slim Shady LP back in February. I didn't celebrate the 15th anniversary of Relapse two months ago 
and I'm not celebrating 20 years of Encore later on this year. I'm not doing it. Because this guy is corny and overrated as hell. Same with Lil Wayne. I'm glad I did not celebrate 20 years of Lil Wayne's album, The Carter One. Because looking back on it 20 years later, The Carter One is one of the most overrated albums of 2004. I can name you a bunch of albums that came out that year that I can listen to over The Carter One. I can listen to Method Man's To Cal Zero, the prequel album, over The Carter One. I can listen to Lil Flip's You Gotta Feel Me over The Carter One. I can listen to Luda's The Red Light District over The Carter One. Or T.I., Urban Legend, which is his best album, by the way, over The Carter One. Or Cam, Purple Haze. Or Mace, Welcome Back. Um... What are those albums that came out in 2004 that I can listen to over the Carter One? Oh, Lloyd Banks, The Hunger for More. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, I can listen to that Tupac posthumous album, Loyal to the Game, over the Carter One. Any album that came out in 2004, I'd rather listen to that over the damn Carter One. And I'm not celebrating 25 years of his album, The Block Is Hot. Jay-Z, maybe I'll celebrate 25 years of Life and Times of S. Carter Volume 3 later on this year. But I got nothing more to say about this song by Eminem Houdini. It was corny, it was ass, it was trash, and it was un... It was unrelatable to listen to. I'm not listening to that song again, and I will never forgive him or thank him for wasting my time listening to it. It's not like the hard, dried up dog shit for a whole week. It's pretty much the soft dog shit. It's like baby shit. That's what the song was like in my opinion. I don't care if these dick writers of Eminem gets mad at me, disagree with me, I don't care. You don't have to like my opinion about the song, but just accept it and move the hell on. I can name you a bunch of rappers that I would listen to over Eminem, Jay-Z, and Lil Wayne. At least Jay-Z does have some songs that I can relate to that's decent, like his song Anything, which is his most underrated song. But still... I give that song Houdini a 3 out of 10. And I heard that he's coming out with a new album called The Death of Slim Shady. Who gives a damn? Who cares? I'm not listening to that album and I'm not doing a review on it. Simple as that. I heard Rakim is going to come out with a new album for the first time in 15 years. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I heard Red Man is coming out with Muddy Waters 2, which I'm also looking forward to. But that's all I got to say about this dumbass song by Eminem, Houdini. If you like the song, kudos to you. But some of us was not feeling this song. Like I said on Rumble last year, M, just retire and get the hell out of the rap game. And pass the torch to other rappers that came after you. Your time is up and somebody else's time is now. Now, somebody been requesting me to do a rant about this YouTuber that has fallen to the footsteps of Mr. Cupcake Man, David Wolf, Zyrax, and other pedos on YouTube. Well, it's time to bring him up now. Just Gooby. I never heard of this guy before until somebody left a comment saying that I should do a rant about him and get my two cents on him. Just Gooby, all I gotta say about you is shut the hell up and die, bro. Because you're just like Mr. Cupcake Man, David Wolf, Zyrax, and these other pedos on YouTube. He hasn't uploaded a video in four years because you know he got caught being a pedophile. So all I got to say about Just Gooby, I'm glad I never watched his videos on YouTube. I've seen comments from his recent video saying that you're going to go to jail, which he needs to go to jail. After hearing the news that he's been texting minors just like Mr. Cupcake Man did. So that's all I gotta say about Just Gooby fucking. So that wraps up my thoughts about Eminem's new song, Houdini, and my short two cents about YouTuber Just Gooby.
Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell for my next video. How many of you been waiting for me to come on here and give you my two cents about that Eminem song, Houdini? All of you. And one of you been dying for me to talk about Just Google. Well, here you go. I will catch you tomorrow for the season four finale of my rant about Beavis and Butthead, Daria, and Celebrity Deathmatch, revealing my top 15 MTV shows that I just got done doing. Just Gooby and Eminem played a stupid game and won a stupid prize. No more talk.